Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. Before we get into today's session, which is a very fun 5K 6 Max tournament, I am doing a 2% giveaway for my main event. Anything that I win, any profit I make, you can get 2% off. We're gonna split that up 1% here on YouTube, 1% on Twitter. To be able to have a chance of winning here on YouTube, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below who you want to win the main event this year. That's it, like this video, comment who you wanna win the main event this year below, and subscribe to the channel. For more information on the Twitter giveaway, I'll put that later in the video. Good luck, guys. May the best man win. Guys and girls, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Guy Blackman, coming at you for day two of the 5K six max here at the WSOP. I played yesterday, I busted 15 minutes before the end of the day. Fortunately, registration was still open until the beginning of day two. I fired again with 25 big blinds. I've actually played a couple of hours of poker already today. I'm doing the intro not at the start of the day, a couple of hours in because I was running late. Uh, lots and lots of crazy hands coming your way. Let's get straight into the action. Absolute carnage ensuing. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, here we go. 5173 was our first table of the day. I see it. Uh, looks horrible. This one here. Sweet. Good luck, guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? All right, so as mentioned, I fired day one of this 5K, but despite running up to three starting stacks, it all came crashing down, and I busted just before the end of day one. Lots of fun hands from day one, but day two is packed to the rafters with fun hands, so we're gonna skip that and start our journey together. Start of day two, second bullet. Onto our first hand of the day, and I pick up Jack-10 offsuit in the cutoff, and we get 5K to go, that's a min raise. The big blind calls, he's a fellow buy-in to day two-er, so we've both got 50K chips to start the hand. Our first flop of the day is nine, seven deuce with two hearts. I decide to use a cash game type strategy here and bet half pot. And immediately after I do that, the words of my housemate Welsh Gaz are ringing in my ears. Use small C bets when you are shallow. This mistake is going to be compounded when the big blind is going to bust out the check raise, but it's very, very small. He only makes it 14K to go. Pretty mandatory peel here. We've got lots of outs versus a hand like King Nine. I make the call and the voice in my head literally says, is the turn ever a black eight? Just as the eight of clubs rolls off. Absolute dream turn and villain then jams. I snap, he's got nine, seven off suit. And after a safe river, just like that, I have doubled up in the very first 10 minutes of the day. 40 big blinds out of nowhere. Couldn't have asked for a better start to the day and not even one orbit later, I look down at pocket kings in the big blind voice in my head is like omg gazi you're winning the 5k six max cutoff opens to 5500 his name is alexander shilko very good tournament player and also an extremely nice guy to play with i three bet with my kardashians to 22k he makes the call kind of a dream flop of queen six five two diamonds i bet 15k he makes the call not the best turn it's another queen not sure what the best play is here but i take the cautious route and check and he fires out 10k it feels like he's got a hand like pocket nines and is just piping me en route to showdown, but there's very, very little I can do about that. I make the call. The river is a seven, and when I check, he snap checks back. I show my kings. He's lost the minimum from turn to river. These MTT guys are bloody good nowadays. Still though, stack is looking very pretty after just a couple of orbits. Next up is a very fun hand. I'm in the cutoff with king, queen of diamonds, and raise. The button is an American reg called Preston. Very nice guy. He three bets. Easy call for me. We see a flop of queen five deuce with two diamonds. Voice in my head is like, OMG, seriously, you're like totally winning this thing today. When pressing C bets here for 10K, I decide to raise sometimes. This is one of those times I make it 32K to go. He makes a call. Very few turns in the deck that I dislike, but a black ace is unfortunately one of them. I decide to check. Happy to see him check back. No diamond on the river for us. It's the 10 of hearts. I check and he bets 22K. It's a very small bet. Really wasn't sure what to make of it but i decided to be disciplined and save my chips i've got a lot of hands like ace four suited and ace x of diamonds that'll take this line that can call so i let my hand go but maybe should just side call versus such a small bet i'm not sure all right next up still in level one mr shilko opens again in the cutoff and i'm in the big blind with 10 eight of spades 
Can't just be three betting hands like kings and aces. Need some bluffs in there as well. This is going to be one of my bluffs. I make it 22k to go. He calls and we go heads up to king, queen, six with two spades. Pretty good flop. Easy C bet for me. I bet 14k. He thinks for a few seconds and calls. The turn is an offset at six and the stack to pot ratio is now less than one. I think I can make some queen X fold and obviously hands like jack 10, ace 10, those types of draws. So I put them all in for around 60k. He absolutely snap folds. He smiles and says, how do you always have a good hand? And I just can't help myself. I show the eight of spades and say, I don't know. After a very, very good first level, I am now up to 206K from 50K starting. Couldn't have dreamed of a better start. And early in level 12, I pick up ace, king of hearts and open to 6K in MP. The cutoff makes the call and the button shoves it in for 57K, around 19 big blinds. Easy reshove for me. The player in the cutoff lets his hand go and the button has got king, queen, offsuit, let's see if we can find a hold here. Oh, still Seven. Good oh. oh, no. <laughs> no way. No way. Do it. I'm not gonna lie guys, I was kind of praying for a miracle run out for him. It would have made for a sick clip and my YouTube subs would have skyrocketed. Unfortunately, I run really badly and ended up winning the hand. After playing every hand in level 11, this was the only hand of note in level 12. Lots of small pots, but none that were really vlog worthy. Into the break we go with around 230K in chips. All right, end of the first part of the day on our first break. I've got about 225k, uh, peaked about 250. A lovely spin up, really, really happy with that. Start with 50. Played every hand for the first level, uh, played no hands for the second level, but really happy with that. 250k. Just got to keep it going. Table is relatively good. Uh, not amazing. There are no easy tables, to be clear, but uh, certainly could be a lot harder. But yeah, feeling good. Let's just keep going. All right, money stuff is now on screen, getting very close to the money, but not on the bubble just yet. 950K for first and a shiny bracelet, but work to be done before that. Next up in level 13 here, the small blind limps. He's a British guy, didn't catch his name, but he played very solidly indeed. I'm in the big blind with Jack nine also. I don't think our hand ever wants to raise. To the flop we go, it is 10, seven, four rainbow. He checks to me and I take a stab for half pot. We've got a gut shot and an overcard to the board. He makes the call to the turn, it's the six of club. Backdoor flush draw is now possible. He checks again and I decide to keep on betting. I bet 18k. He calls again and another 10 rolls off on the river. Not ideal, but remember he's got lots and lots of pair plus draw hands that I can try and make fold here. My nine does block some of them, but my jack does not. And I don't have a club in my hand. So I go for it. I bet 44k. My opponent tanks for what seems like an eternity. All the while I'm just sitting there staring at the 10 on the flop, begging him not to call in my head. After about two and a half minutes, just when I think he's about to fold, he does not fold. He also does not call. He actually shoves all in. The indignation of bedding the river and then snap folding after a three minute tank jam was just too much for me. I leaned over and punched him on the nose. Just kidding, of course. I like my line, but I clearly got trapped nice and good. That puts me down to 132K. And next up, I am tangling with the Brit to my right again. He opens under the gun. I'm an MP with ace jack offsuit and decide to flat. We go heads up to ace five, three, two spades. When he checks i want to bet here a decent amount but i check this one back this time the turn is a six of spades and he bets out for 15k not going anywhere just yet hoping for a clean river the river is a deuce he bets once again a really tiny bet of 15k on the river i don't even think about it to be honest i sigh snap call and he turns over nine seven of hearts i actually really like his line here particularly the river bet trying to make me fold a hand like pocket eights with a spade back up to 170k we go and after a couple of small pots in that level i pick up pocket sixes in level 14 in middle position i put in the min raise and the big blind defense he's an american guy didn't catch his name but really friendly guy he checks dark to me and the flop comes down six five four two diamonds my first set of the day and i ain't messing around i bet 9k and he snapped and i mean snap raises to 25k it was instant the board is really wet for my liking and i don't think this guy is going to play raise folds here so i don't fuck around i rip it in for 129k total a very big shove and i would never do this on like king six deuce rainbow but this board is so wet i just decide to jam after a minute he calls and asks me to show him a draw i show him top set and he shows me ace six of clubs the best thing i could hope for a big big double to get my stack up to 300k for the first time this entire tournament next up i make a river call 
with Ace High that did not win and I'll also be taking it to the grave with me. Sorry about that. Okay, moving on, we come to the end of level 14 and go on our second break of the day. All right, end of level 14. Uh, this is the tournament area behind me. I'm plucking up my courage to film myself talking to the camera in public. Uh, for those that follow me on Insta, know I really struggle with it. So let's get this done quickly. End of level 14, very swingy level with lots of small pots. Been a bit of a silly call with Ace High. Thought I was good, but I wasn't. <laughs> uh, chipped up nicely though, got 240K going back to 6K big blind. And we are about 30 away from the money. So yeah, feeling good. Yeah, let's just get a, get a min cash and take it from there. Let's pop into it. Coming back into level 15, 222 players left at this point, only 180 paid, and despite our table being a lot of fun, we actually break early in the level. All right, so we're moving as 498. We are going over here. This is one. Here. Jump over there. Oh, sorry, miss. Excuse me. There we go. What's up, guys? I get moved to another tough looking table. I end up playing very few hands and weirdly enough, the bubble moves very quickly. It takes absolutely no time before we approach the bubble. I have very, very few hands at this table before all of a sudden. Congratulations, everybody's in the line. We lost two minutes in the process. Everybody's in the line. We are in the money, an $8,200 bubble, and weirdly, it was the quickest one all summer. Absolutely delighted to get myself into the money with around 190K, good for about 25 big blinds at this point, which is plenty to work with. Next up in level 16, I open in the cutoff with pocket fives. The button, a very nice Irish fella, he jams for 112K. 14 bigs, of course, not able to fold pocket fives. We're up against ace deuce suited. Very happy to hold there and add to my stack. As is standard for six max tournaments late in the tourneys, I am on the move once again. There are no soft tables at this stage of the tournament and this new one looks especially tough. I've got Arthur Martis Rolison, or however you pronounce it, and Roland Rokita at my table, along with several other very tough looking pros. These guys are all piling in the money versus each other whilst I patiently wait for my spot. That spot is going to have to wait until after dinner, however. A little card dead, but happy to head off with around 300 K in my stack coming back to a 10k big blind. All right, once again, having to do this very quickly at the end of a dinner break. Uh, about 130 players left. I've got 300,000 chips going back to a 10k big blind. Uh, very tough table. There are no easy tables, as mentioned. Um, I feel good. We're in the money. Um, yeah, just keep riding out. I feel really good. Whatever happens, happens. That's fucking good. All right, back now after dinner, we are five-handed and under the gun opens to 20K. I'm in the big blind with 10-8 of diamonds and decide to just flat this time. To the flop we go, it is 10-7 deuce with two clubs, one diamonds. I check and the under the gun player is gonna bet 35K. I decided to just call, the turn is a king. Not ideal, but when he bets 80K, I decide I'm gonna call here and just call down on all the blank rivers. The river, however, is a jack. It's not ideal and when I check, he snap checks back he's got queen jack offsuit if the river was just a three or something i'm very certain he would have jammed and i was for sure calling that puts me down to 147k but next hand i get a three bet shove through when mp opens the cutoff calls and i shove ace jack suited kind of wanted action there but both players fold back up to 200k and next up arthur has raised in the cutoff the small blind flats and i have queen 10 of diamonds in the big blind 17 bigs some fold equity i decide to jam arthur asks for a kind and then re-jams. When he does that, I forget that the small blind is still in the pot and table my hand. Archer tables his hand, he's got ace queen of hearts and the other player in the pot gets to smile and fold his hand with all the free info. He had king jack suited, so no harm done. I am in bad shape here and needing some help. Very, very fortunate run out, but is it bad that I got a tiny bit disappointed when I saw the Black King on the river and realized it was actually a club and we chopped? Swinging about like mad, classic six max tournament. Next up in level 18, I'm on the button and look down at a couple of mamacitas. I raised to 25K, too lazy to cut out 24K in chips. The big line defends and we see a flop with King, Queen, Five, Rainbow, what a beautiful flop that is. I bet small, pretty standard size and happy to see the big blind stick around. The turn is a 10, which brings a backdoor flush draw 
but I am always betting this hand here. I bet 55k and imagine my surprise when the big blind check jams. I snap call. He's got queen five suited. He's got 0% equity and I am up to around 420,000 chips now. Still below average, but 35 bigs with less than 90 players left. Finally with a playable stack. Next up, we're four handed. I open in the cutoff with ace three of clubs and Archer elects to three bet from the button. He makes it 72k. My MCT preflop charts have this as a call. Happy to see the ace in the window. Always nice to make top pair and he C bets for 55k. Nothing else to do here other than just call to the turn. It's an offsuit six. I check and he bets again 130,000 chips. It's a large bet. And if I just call here, we're going to the river with 550k in the pot and I have 160k behind. So I decide to just shove all in, commit his flush draws, deny equity from any four out or gut shots that he's got. In hindsight, I really don't love this shove. We want to let a super competent, aggressive player like this blast off with a hand like 10 9 suited on the river. He makes a very quick call. I unfortunately have run into ace king i have got three outs to save my tournament the river is a red deuce for a wild wild second i thought it was a three it's not to be for me unfortunately knocked out in 85th place which is good for 10.6k i would have loved that 950k for first but alas it's not to be this time another nice run and another nice cash for my hand and mob Guys and girls, that is the end of our run. Um, sometimes I'm really disappointed when I bust a tournament this deep, but I feel okay. You know, I came in with 20 big blinds and I spun it up and I ran really well. And I'm really not sure about that last hand. Um, I'm going to sim it and, and see what the, the solver says, but, you know, it's a very aggressive opponent. I think pre flop and flop are obviously fine. Turn is kind of like, you know, what else can you do other than fucking shove and pray that he doesn't have ace king or ace queen like he did. Um, but yeah, really, really happy. Really enjoyed making this vlog. Do consider clicking that sub button and I shall be back once again, probably for the main event. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Take it easy, guys. Thank you very much for, for, for joining. All right, guys, now it's time for the 1% Twitter giveaway info. You can win both the YouTube and the Twitter, so don't be shy. Get involved. All you need to do is like the tweet that's on your screen and retweet it and follow me on Twitter, and you could be in with a chance of winning 1% of my main event action. Good luck to everyone.